Welcome to our inaugural episode of How Adoption Works. I'm Joseph Sandegato, Director of Communications and Public Relations for Mayor. Of course, by now, you know about our monthly Adopt Ed podcast where we discuss topics related to foster care adoption. Well, the truth is, we have more information than we can fit into our monthly episodes, and many of the topics aren't long enough to form another full episode. Enter How Adoption Works. Think of this podcast as kind of a snack-sized bite to what we would consider the full podcast to be a meal. We'll be producing these shorter episodes more frequently, and topics will include everything from how the heart gallery works to frequently asked questions and other child welfare-related topics. Without further ado, I'd like to start the show. You know him as producer Jeremy, but today he's my co-host, Jeremy. Welcome, Jeremy. Wow, yes, thank you. It feels uh, feels so good Official to have that to, new title. Yeah, yeah on co-host. the other side of the mic, be, be careful. We'll start giving you more responsibilities yeah, yeah, as if you don't have enough already. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so listen, this is supposed to be a quick show, and we're now already like you know a minute and a half into the opening explanation. So let's get going. Our topic today is how the heart gallery works. And I thought that since you're part of the communications or, or the part of the communications team, right, that really works on all the digital and, and works on a, a lot of the production aspects of this, um, that we can uh, just explain quickly what it is. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. So, uh, you know, just a couple of uh, discussion points that we that we definitely want to hit. The Heart Gallery itself, um, a little bit about the history. There's a, there's a, a national piece. We were very early adopters, no pun mm-hmm. intended. Or maybe pun intended. <laughs> That's what we're here for, ladies and <laughs> yes, gentlemen. Yes, yes. Of of this uh, process. And so the Heart Gallery, for many of you who've been out at our events or uh, those who visited a Jordan's uh, furniture store, you know it as either a, a portrait that hangs on a wall or an easel or a carpet board, or right? Um, or you know it as the digital version originally created for Jordans that we now employ more broadly, which is a screen shot of a child and a little bit about them and, you know, kind of rolling through. So the Heart Gallery has been around for, for a long time. Um, you know, we're talking about decades. And, and again, yep. it, it's used in other states. But what we're talking about here um, is really um, how the Heart Gallery um came not only into being, right, but why, um, you know, how children are selected, what community involvement benefits are, and, yeah, and, and so it, forth. Yeah, it really is just another tool for us. Um, well, our mission is to try and raise awareness and recruit families for adoption from foster care, right? Right, right. And so having these wonderful volunteer uh, professional photographers who are willing to take time uh, to spend with specific children and take these beautiful arresting photos um, that then we can display, you know, and in all the ways that you had mentioned right, right. Um, as these compelling portraits of the kids. So um, that's sort of, uh, you know, why we do the heart gallery right. um, is to raise awareness for these specific kids um, and to really get it in front of people. Hey, this is an issue that matters. Uh, right. Adoption from foster right. care is really important. And so many people in our communities d- aren't even aware of it necessarily. Um, so it's important to get that message out there. It, and in an elevated way. You know, I think I'm the first one that always says a story is great. A picture is better. A video is, you know, sort of the right. the, the penultimate. And, and the ultimate is when you actually meet a child in person, right? So it just helps to tell a story better. Um, and we called everything Heart Gallery in the past. We called any professional photo basically Heart Gallery, whether it was event or it was child. Or it was. We're talking here Heart Gallery. We're really talking about the group, the collection of photos specifically designed for heart gallery promotion. So we're talking about legally freed kids, right? So right. not to use a lot of jargon, but kids are either legally freed or not legally freed. The ones that we publicly promote are legally freed children, right? right? Um, how um, how are the kids picked? So the, the process really starts from the social workers that we work with um, right. and the child services coordinators here at Mayor. So, you know, every child services coordinator uh, works with social workers and kids in a specific region of Massachusetts. And really it's their job to uh, think on behalf of all those kids, how can they best utilize everything Mayor has to offer so that we can help find that kid an adoptive home. Right. So when it's appropriate for kids who are ready for it um, and social workers think it's a good idea for this particular kid, uh, we explore the option of doing 
a heart gallery photo. Right. So the request sort of starts from there as a collaboration between us and the DCF worker. And then it comes to the communications department where we've said, okay, this kid is a good candidate for this. We think this would be a great option for their recruitment. Um, now we're handing it to the communications department for you to source a community volunteer true, um, true. who can do this photo uh, for this child. And so we try to find someone um, near that child's community, because uh, again, we work with children all across the state. And volunteers all across the state. And volunteers all across the state. Um, and so we have, you know, a list that we go through of professional and sometimes amateur volunteers right. um, who do really high quality work and see if we can match them uh, with someone who can fulfill the request. And then we sort of set it up from there. The photographer goes, um, spends time with the child, um, and tries to generally tries to do some sort of activity or something that yeah, they enjoy. Yeah, they usually action shots whenever yeah, they can yeah. be. So I mean, something along the lines. I mean, it's relatively similar, right? To if you were getting senior photos or something. Uh, oh, like as senior a kid. class pictures, not like not like senior citizen photos. Right, like, right. Like sen- <laughs> high school yes. senior. Yeah, it's not for your AARP pictures. card or right, anything. Right, yeah. Right. Um, but you know, if you do, if you're going to do those photos, that, you might bring a football with you, or you know, something sure, that shows your interest. Sure. Because we really want to show this is all about showing who this child is, showing their strengths, showing their personality, right? Um, and trying to give you know a compelling portrait of who they are as an individual. Because as they've said for years, a picture is worth a thousand, a thousand words. words. All right, so let's just wrap this up because this is just a short little little snack size bite, as I like to call it. Right. So, um, social workers uh, can advocate for a child through our child service coordinators, right? right? The process at that point, it's, it's a combined effort between you and our other member of our team, Katie, right, mm-hmm. to kind of coordinate it all. But the process is such that we then identify a photographer. So for the social workers out there who want to know more about these specifics, we identify a photographer, we make that connection, allow the social worker and the photographer to work out the details of when and how it's going to all happen. Then the photographer sends you the image and then you produce the panels and the digital pieces and all the other stuff that goes along with it, right? Yep. And so total working time here, I think by plan, we don't really want to spend more than 30 days in each of those segments. So, right. you know, no more than 30 days requesting and sourcing, no more than 30 days actually completing it, uh, get, you know, get, getting the raw imagery and no more than 30 days getting things produced. Right. I mean, ultimately we'd like for this to happen fairly quickly. Yeah. So. I, I, ideally, and oftentimes we can work at a much quicker the pace than that, but that's sort of the goal that we okay. set for ourselves. Yeah. Great. Well, if um, any, um, you know, that's Heart Gallery in a nutshell. So thank you for hosting today, Jeremy. I appreciate it. And I'm glad that we get to hear you. And of course, you know how much I appreciate you. So yeah, you bet. Glad I look to be forward here. to doing this with you again. And to um, thank you as well to all of our listeners. For more information about anything we covered on today's show, please visit our website at mayrink.org. We appreciate your investment in our show. Just a reminder that if you like us, one of the best things you can do to help us keep going with the work is to listen, rate us on your platform of choice, and share with others who would benefit from the content. And of course, if you have a show topic for either the main pad podcast or for these shorter episodes, please email me, joes at mayorinc.org. I'd love to hear from you. This is Joe Sandegato from Mayor wishing you a wonderful day and thanks for listening.